What's up guys, this is Nick at Stridewise.com in Baltimore, Maryland, where I came out to visit Mr. Dale, last name redacted. <laughs> also, the man behind Aerosurfer LV. Uh, he has one of the most extensive boot collections I've ever seen of anybody, and it includes, what, two dozen Grant Stone boots? Yeah, yeah, about 24. This man is about, he is the world's foremost expert on Grant Stone boots, besides, you know, the people who work at Grant Stone. So I thought I would come to him for an objective mm -hmm. ranking yes. of the best Grant Stone boots. Now, yeah. to be very clear, it's actually completely subjective, and this yeah. is just according to Dale's uh, preferences, his experiences, and his own yeah. life that is called his perceptions. Yes. Uh, and objective truth is meaningless and mm -hmm. unrealistic. Exactly. What do you like about Grant Stone boots? Oh, first off, the fit. Uh, the fit, the Leo Last is perfect for my foot. It's that perfect middle ground. It's similar to the Alden Berry and True Balance, but it's probably, it's if Alden Berry and True Balance got married and had a child, it would be the Leo Last. It's perfectly rounded off toe, unstructured, very nice for like dressy to business casual type situations, but I wear them all the time. I think it's just a beautiful last. It perfectly fits my foot. And uh, second would be the materials that they use. They use top quality materials. Materials that another company would charge you five, seven, eight hundred and on up for. Um, Grant Stone makes it easy, three, four hundred dollars per pair of these. So you're already getting them at a discount, um, even if you're buying them full price from the Grant Stone website. Um, so yeah, between the fit and the materials, I just, I love this company. Not to mention the people behind it, Wyatt and the Gilmores. Um, they're just great people. I love them. They're, I consider them friends. And uh, yeah, great company, great people, great product. And uh, I'm just truly a fan. And uh, so I've just amassed a small collection of these over the years. So well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a small collection. Universally, 100% of people who handle these boots say, okay, if this was like, they can't differentiate it from like a New England boot and mm -hmm. they would assume that it would cost hundreds of dollars more than it does cost. Uh, in addition to that, the boots, they fall really nicely in the smart casual realm, mm -hmm. maybe business casual. I would say like not quite as casual as a Red Wing Heritage, but not yeah. quite as dressy as like, I don't know, a lot of Alan Edmonds boots. Yeah, uh, Alan Edmonds, Johnson Murphy. Yeah, yeah. All right, so all that said, Dale, your top five Grand Stone boots. Top five starting at number five. I'm gonna give it to the Ottawa boot in bourbon suede, a perfect boot. Um, awesome with that. Are you just starting out with a perfect boot? Or No, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's I'll, hard for the others. Yeah, I'll get to the perfect boot. Hold okay. on. It'll be on the number we'll one slot. Perfect. Tell us about this perfect yeah. boot. So, so this is in Bourbon Suede from Charles F. Stead. Um, it's, the Ottawa is a... In Alden, they refer to this as a Norwegian split toe or a tanker boot design with the split toe right here. So it's not, and it, and it's hand stitched. So th that's what I love about the Ottawa. It's got that nice hand stitched mock with the split toe down there, very stylish. And then this suede is just so light, so airy, but so tough and rugged at the same time. And this, this nice bourbon color, it's got that nice golden glow about it. Looks awesome in most any application. I wear this with everything except for light khakis. Um, and it just, it pops so well. It's it's, it's such a rugged, versatile pair of boots, and uh, it's on their leather sole, which I find very supportive. In fact, I, if I'm standing up all day, say I'm working with leather, doing leather work all day, I want to be standing on a leather sole. It's the most comfortable, the most supportive sole. And uh, yeah, so that for that reason, that's number five out of my top five. <laughs> can, I, can I ask... Yeah. I actually don't have any split toe boots like this. Okay. It's just decorative. Like, what, what's up oh, with that? Oh, it's decorative, 100%. Yeah, there's nothing. It's similar to a wingtip. There's nothing functional about it. It's only decorative. I mean, back in the day, they used to use broguing as a function. You know, let the boot breathe. But nowadays, it's purely cosmetic. So, yeah, that... Still looks good. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I agree. It's a nice suede. All right, yes, that's thank number you. five. Number four. Number four, I'm going to give it to their new diesel boot. This is a, their diesel boot in Storm Suede. I actually bought two other versions of this in coffee and tan. To contextualize a bit, the diesel boot is mm -hmm. uh, is the most popular boot from, yes. from Grant Stone. Yeah, it's their plain toe model. Yeah, it's their plain toe yeah. booty kind of boot. There are mm -hmm. about 100 million varieties of them in front of me right now. Yes, um, yes. But this is an unusual diesel boot in that it has a, a wedge sole. Mm -hmm. It's got the Vibram wedge sole and it's made out of, uh, yeah, Stead's Storm Suede, which I really like this color. This is a perfect 
um, sort of apex color. It's somewhere between blue and gray. I can't really define it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful color for this for this plain toe model. Um, I think it looks really good up against the the double layered leather sole and then the cream wedge sole beneath that. Um, it just it looks sharp. It's it's as close as I'll come to a sneaker without wearing sneakers because I don't like sneakers. So I guess it feel like I'm wearing a sneaker while wearing a boot. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and this is an unusual uh, entry as well because as I mentioned earlier, the Grand Stones boots by and large, the diesel boot in particular, are pretty, I mean, sleek is the wrong word, but it's not It's not chunky, right? Like the mm -hmm. diesel boot is, it's not a dress boot exactly, but it's like a smart casual, almost yeah. business casual sort of thing. So to get a smart casual, business casual boot and then yeah. to add a wedge sole underneath it, it's a, it's a bit jarring. Yeah, but it it works. But you wouldn't normally see this kind of sole on this sort of like almost yeah. dressy upper. And they went up yeah. being Dale's fourth favorite boot. Fourth favorite boot so out of the whole well run. Number yes, three. it did. Number three. I'm gonna give it to the Maduro Shell Cordovan Edward boots. Now the Edward model is very similar to the Diesel, but there are some differences, mostly in terms of the aesthetic. So instead of the diesel, the diesel has much wider eyelets, much wider hardware, accommodates a much thicker lace. These use much smaller eyelets, gives it a lot dressier of a look. Not to mention, I think there's a difference in the size of the quarters I was reading earlier. Um, yeah. yeah, there's also no stitching on the cam. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no heel counter here, but you do have a back heel strip here. So it, yeah, yeah, as opposed to this, on this, on the diesel, it's got a back heel cup back stay sort of a thing. So yeah, so the backs are different. But the reason why this is so special is this is in a rare shell cordovan color called Maduro. It's like a rich, deep, dark brown. Um, and you know, you could wait for years on our Alden rare shell list before you ever get an offer for one of these. I hopped on this, this was part of a pre-order and uh, so happy that Grant Stone made it easy for lay people like myself to get my hands on some rare shell. So thank you to the Grant Stone team. I don't consider this a purchase. I consider it an opportunity. And this is a very special piece of shell right here. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. So, very cool. And yeah. to those who are not aware, shell cordovan is a particular type of material made from a membrane at the base of a horse's tail. It is rare for many reasons, but a big part of it is that it doesn't really crease and it's phenomenally durable uh, and it basically kind of looks new for many, many, many years. It's also massively expensive. Yeah. Uh, and in some and some tanneries take like over a year to make their, their cordovan, but it's considered yeah. the, the creme de la creme of others by many people. And normally yeah. if you want a cordovan boot, you gotta to expect to pay at least 700 bucks for it. How much does this cost mm -hmm. you? 700. 700 yeah. bucks, yeah. all right. Yeah, Alden but is- this is the best of the best. Yeah, it is. Number two is gonna be a similar vein as the last one. These are my Grant Stone Edward boots in honey glazed shell cordovan, another rare color. This is natural shell, undyed shell cordovan leather. And these, I actually wore these I, I wore these on a trip to California and I hiked in them and I actually got them covered in, in a clay. So I had to clean them up. Um, and in a volcanic clay. So I had to really clean up, clean them up a lot. And uh, so they've darkened up quite a bit. When I visited Wyatt in his shop, in, at his warehouse in Baroda. Um, Wyatt being the founder of the company. Yeah, Wy Wyatt Gilmore. His pair looked like this. I was like, dude, what did you do to these to bring out such a rich vibrancy about these? They're, they're darker, but there's they're so much depth. And he just he used Venetian and he used some uh, Saphir Amaral gloss on it, one thin wax coat, and it really brings out the depth of the shell. So this is my number two Grant Stone, natural shell cordovan Edward boot, plain toe, perfect pair of boots. Two in your top five are both cordovan Edward boots? Yes. You're pretty yes. boring, man. I know. Number one, I'm about to get more boring. More shell cordovan. <laughs> so these are my shell cordovan brass boots in Maduro shell. Now tell us why the brass boot is so different to uh, other Grant Stone boots. It's so, one of the newest editions. Yeah, so the brass boot, this is also a brass boot. It's got raised walls. It's Grant Stone's rendition of a mock toe work boot. So similar to the Red Wing work boot. Um, but not quite the same, obviously. Um, this is built on the Grant Stone's Floyd last. This is their new last Floyd, named after Floyd Gilmore, Grant Stone's grandfather who worked at Alden for over 60 years. And this is my grail boot. You know, this is actually my favorite pair of boots 
currently out of all of the 75 um, because a it's that nice rare shell cordovan maduro that nice dark chocolate color very rich and then it also kind of looks similar to an indie boot which is my first boot love which you've got some indie boots right back there um the indie boot obviously it's got that unstructured toe yeah this is a little uh, yeah sleeker yeah a little bit more sleek whereas this floyd last it's got the raised walls and the vamp it's a structured toe it's got a uh hand stitched mock there nice big brass eyelets i love everything about this boot including the full lug commando sole absolutely beautiful i wore these to my trip in alaska hiked up mountains in these uh walked through rivers in these and uh, they just look better and uh the, between the patina and the leather and the sole and everything about this this is my favorite boot currently so yeah so good good job to the grant stone team that's my number one boot not just my number one grant stone but probably my number one boot in my whole collection so amazing is this still yeah. for sale or is this a limited edition <laughs> they just opened up the pre-order for another run of these yesterday all right cool it's going till sunday um by the time this video comes out, it won't be <laughs> completely irrelevant. Yeah, comment. yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, so that was Dale's top five Grand Stone boots. For, again, all subjective. Also, a fair amount of these are limited editions, so yeah. this may not be super useful for the average person. For yeah. my, for my money, I think. Uh, my favorite leather that I've seen from Grant Stone, and they have like a lot of great stuff, but just just personally, I really like the Battle Assy Vegetable Tan leather. That is this leather here, this orangish one, and also this mm -hmm. is it with like a bit more wear on a diesel boot. Vegetable tan leather, for those that don't know, is extraordinarily rare and much more complicated to make and more laborious to make than over 90% of the leather on earth. Uh, and I I honestly, I don't, I own these boots. I'm actually wearing them right now. Look at that. Um, I think this leather on the diesel boot is, I think that's the coolest boot, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Um, it's just it's really super nice and versatile. It ages really, really well. Uh, and this is like a, it, this is evergreen. This is always available on this store. Yeah. Ditto the brass boot. Uh, and this is available in Battle Lassie Vegetable Tent as well. It's also available in uh, Chrome XL. Yeah, black Chrome XL and crimson Chrome XL. Yeah. So Dale is a big enough fan of Grand Stone that he has some a little bit obscure picks. Yeah. The main point is that Grand Stone has a very very wide variety of boot types, including a Chelsea, which is also mm -hmm. phenomenal, but we didn't really get to it. I've got a video about it below. Yeah. Um, but it's pretty hard to go wrong at Grand Stone. You can be confident in the construction, mm -hmm. uh, and so then you just have to pick a little that you like. So, yep. yeah. There you no, go. Not sponsored, but we just like this brand a lot. Yeah, exactly. Win-win for everybody. Yeah, right, cool. Exactly. Right. That's it. That's our whole video. Subscribe to both of us below. Yes, indeed. And, uh, Happy booting. Yes, happy boot hunting. Happy yes. Boot. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. It's it's been fun. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.